Hello everybody and welcome back to a new Roblox tutorial. Today we're going to be making a key door. So pretty much when we get the key, we're able to walk through. When we don't have the key, we can't. Alrighty guys, so now that we're in studio, let's make sure we have our key and our door. Instead of the door, let's make a part called door part. And that's going to be what opens and closes to let the player in. Inside the door part, let's create a new script. Let's name it door script. And let's delete everything inside that script. And let's start off with defining our variables. You don't have to add the, th the tags like I do. So let's do local door part equals script.parent. And local TTSO is the time the door stays open So in seconds. So I put two. Um, now let's do local key name is equal to key. And this is going to be the name of your key. So now let's define our functions. So local function on touch. Uh, and then let's do door part dot can collide equals false which is going to make it so the door is able to be walked through by players then door part dot transparency equals 0 0.5 and now let's do task dot wait and let's do ttso which is going to make it so the door can stay open for that amount of time and then let's do door part dot can collide equals true and door part dot transparency equals zero so pretty much again um Door part dot can collide equals false makes it so that you can walk through the door and it adds a bit of a transparency with door part dot transparency equals 0 0.5 and then the stuff below the task dot wait allows us to be able to uh, close the door and make it so people can collide. Um, so local validate or local function validate key and inside brackets let's put part and um, Pretty much what this is going to do is it's going to check if the part is a valid key. All right, so let's do if part is a base part and part find first child value and part dot value is a string value now let's do that and next we're gonna do if part dot value dot value is equal to key name then let's run the on touch function so now let's go down to create our connection and let's do door part dot touched and connect it to a function and inside brackets inside that function let's put a and then let's type and at the end and then let's put our validate key and put a there all right now let's go into our workspace let's make sure we have our key inside the handle of the key let's make a new string value inside that string value set the value to the key the, the name of the key in the script and then you should be able to walk right through all right guys thank you so much for watching if this video helped you out be sure to like and subscribe other than that, see you at the next one. Peace.